Wonderful. All right, welcome everyone to our Monday night yoga practice. Go ahead and come to your comfortable seat. And we're going to start to center ourselves, to bring ourselves into our practice, to let go of our day so far. So you can sit up on a block or a cushion if that helps you elevate your hips above your knees, which is just a nicer way to sit. It helps with your blood flow. So think about lengthening up through your spine. Go ahead and let your hips rock a little bit side to side. Maybe even let your spine flow and roll a little bit, enjoying the movement. And then as you start to come into that more still, more calm position, think about lengthening your spine up nice and long. And then drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Again, lengthen your spine up, sitting nice and tall. And then exhale, drop your shoulders down away from your ears. One more time. Think about lengthening nice and tall. And let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Let your hands rest on your knees or your lap. Let your eyes close if that's comfortable for you. And start to focus on your breath. Think about breathing in deeply, filling your belly, your rib cage, and your chest with air. And then exhale out from your chest, your rib cage, and your belly. So inhale, we expand, and on our exhales, we contract. Breathe in and exhale, breathe out. Breathe in and exhale, breathe out. Breathe in nice and slow and deep and exhale, let everything out. Breathe on your own for a few rounds. And I know it's hard, but let go of the day so far. Focus on what we're going to do here for the next 55, 60 minutes. Reach your arms out to the side. Let them float up to shoulder height. Expand your body. Feel nice and long. Turn your palms up to the ceiling and then inhale. Bring them all the way up to touch. Breathe here. Reach your arms up. And then on the exhale, start to slowly twist to the right. Let your left hand come to your right knee. Gently turn and twist, looking over your right shoulder. Breathe here. Keep your spine straight. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep your jaw relaxed. And then reach back up overhead, nice and tall. Hold your arms up for a few breaths. And then exhale, twist to the other side. Bringing your right hand to your left knee and looking over your left shoulder. Breathing here. Slowly unwind back to the front. We're gonna make our way into our tabletop position. Swaying your hips side to side as you come into your tabletop. Spread your hands under your shoulders. Think about rotating your arms forward. Get your back nice and straight and then drop your belly. Open your heart. Big inhale. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, round. 
Inhale forward. Exhale round. Come to your neutral spine and explore turning your wrists either to the side edges of your mat, your fingertips, or all the way back towards your knees. And you can rock back and forth, rock side to side. You might explore a cat cow here. That might be a little bit too much. We want to get some stretch into our hands and into our wrists. Nice. And then slowly return your fingertips back to the front of your mat. We're going to reach our left leg back behind us, ro rotate, rock, <laughs> sorry, rock back and forth over your left foot. And then come to stillness, lift your left leg up nice and high. Well, not nice and high to hip height. And if you're balanced there, reach your right arm forward. Float here, press your right shin into the mat. Hold your balance, feel like you're getting nice and long. One more breath here, balancing, and then float the right hand down, the left toes down. We're gonna lift up our right shin and rotate it 90 degrees, coming onto the inside of our left foot, reaching up into a supported side angle or a supported triangle. Same pose, multiple names. Press the mat away from you. Find the lift through your rib cage. And now bring your left arm by your left ear, reaching above your head. So you've got a deep side stretch. Press into the outer edge of your left foot. And then bring your left hand down to the mat as you turn yourself back towards your mat. Return your left leg to your tabletop position. And you can shake it out. And now we're gonna reach our right foot back, rock back and forth over the right leg. And then come to center, lift your right leg up so it's at hip height, holding it here. And then when you're ready, reach your left arm forward, find your balance. We're gonna balance here for a few breaths. So press into your right hand, Press into your left shin. Float here. And now lower your left hand, lower your right toes. Lift your left shin, rotate it 90 degrees. Roll onto the inside of your right foot. Reach your right arm up into the air. Press into the outer edge of the right foot. Reach those right fingertips up as high as you can. And then bring your right arm by your right ear, reaching overhead. Feel the stretch all through the right side of your body. Lift your right hip up. And bring the right hand down and return to your tabletop position. We're gonna walk our hands, one handprint forward. We're gonna curl our toes under, press our hips back. Now from here, we're gonna slowly lift up into our down dog. So think about doing this to a four, three, two, one. We're in our downward facing dog. Maybe you need to pedal this out right, left. Maybe you're already ready to find some stillness. From here, we're going to ripple roll. So we're gonna articulate through our spine, kind of rolling forward like a wave into our plank position. We'll hold our plank for one cycle of breath. So one in, one out, and then we'll lift back up to downward facing dog. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. Then we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna articulate our spine like a wave rolling forward into our plank position. Hold the plank for a breath in and a breath out and then lift back up to downward facing dog. Only one more. So roll forward like a wave. Coming into your plank position, hold here. And now lift back up to downward facing dog. 
center your down dog, make sure you're even on your right and left. And now float your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, open your hip up to the left. Reach your right heel down. You can stay here or if you want, explore making three big circles. One, two, three. Extend the left leg back to three-legged dog and float the left foot down back into your downward facing dog. Float your right leg up behind you. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Stay here or explore the three circles. One, two, and three. Extend that right leg up behind you. Float your right leg down. Look forward at your fingertips and start to slowly walk your feet all the way up into your forward fold. Hanging here. And then bring your hands to your hips, squeeze your butt and stand up nice and slow. Head coming up last. Let your arms come down by your side. Find your balance. If you're leaning a little forward, lean back. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Hold here. Lower your knees, untuck your toes. Let your elbows come in by your side as you lower your stomach, your chest, your chin, everything down to the mat. Come into a baby cobra. And on the exhale, press yourself into tabletop, curl your toes, and then come into your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Look forward at your hands and walk your feet back up to meet your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press down to come all the way back up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, fold back forward. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. You can go knees, chest, chin like we did before, or maybe you wanna lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, come into a baby cobra. Exhale, press back up to plank or through tabletop, coming into your downward facing dog. Hold here. Look forward at your hands and take one or two big steps or lots of little steps, bringing your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press down through your feet to come up to stand nice and tall, palms touch overhead. Breathe in and then exhale, fold back forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. You can take either version we've already done or maybe you're ready to lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, come into upward facing dog with your knees and thighs off the mat and then exhale into downward facing dog. Breathe here. So your vinyasa is meant to help you move with your breath, to get your body and your breath flowing together. It's also meant to warm you up. So as we move through our practice, you can take any version you want. You can skip it. It's totally up to you. Gaze forward at your hands and walk your feet up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms touch overhead. Exhale your hands down by your side. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your stomach. If it's comfortable, let your eyes close or soften your gaze. And feel the breath, feel your heartbeat. Let your hands come down by your side. 
Let your weight come into your heels as you sit yourself back, coming into your chair pose. Breathe here. We're gonna step back with our left leg coming into high lunge. Reaching our left leg back, reaching our arms up nice and tall. Open to the right, coming into a twisted high lunge. Breathe here. And then cartwheel yourself into your warrior two. So your feet kind of stay where they are. And from our warrior two, we're gonna turn our right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Nice. We're gonna come all the way through into side angle. So your right knee is bent, your right forearm is re resting on your right thigh, your left arm is reaching up, you're rotating your heart open. We're gonna reach our left arm up by our left ear. Now we're gonna come into something called skandhasana. So it's a low lunge to the back of your mat. So watch me if you need to. We're gonna shift our weight as we lean forward, straighten our right leg. It's like a side lunge. There you go, perfect. You can always put your hands down on the ground or on your block if you need extra support. So you wanna feel a stretch through your inner right thigh. And then we're gonna shift in back to the front of our mat, coming into our low lunge, plant our hands, slide our right foot back, we're in our plank position. Take your vinyasa, so knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, downward facing dog, upward facing dog, or skip the whole thing. And we will meet in down dog. Gaze forward at your hands and walk your feet all the way up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. And then stand all the way up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Stand up nice and tall, shift the weight back into your heels, sit down into your chair pose. Sit nice and low. Slide your right leg back, coming into your high lunge. We're gonna twist to the left, opening your arms, looking over towards the left side of your mat. From here, we're gonna cartwheel ourselves open into warrior two, left knee bent, pressing into the outer edge of our right foot. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through warrior two into your side angle, placing your left forearm on your left thigh, reaching your right arm up to the air. So your left knee should be over your left ankle. Your right leg is straight. You're pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your right arm up by your ear past the top of your head. Okay, we're gonna go into that side lunge called skandhasana. So we're gonna start to shift our weight into our right foot straightening our left leg, sitting down towards the back of our mat. Beautiful. Hold here, you can support yourself on the ground if you need to. One more breath. And then come into a low lunge at the front of your mat. Plant your hands, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. One more round of breath. And then walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms all the way out and up overhead. Let your palms come down by your side. Stand nice and tall, shift that weight back into your heels, sit down into your chair pose. Breathe here. Bring your hands to heart center, twist to the right. 
Can you bring your left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee? One more breath. And then come back to center. We're gonna step our left leg back, coming into our high lunge. Breathe here in our high lunge. Make sure your right knee is over your right ankle. And now we're gonna twist to the right. Maybe this time you reach your right hand back towards your left leg and your left arm up and over coming into a peaceful twist. Lot of balance needed here. And as you unwind, you're gonna float into warrior two coming towards the front of your mat, nice. Breathe here. Maybe you need to adjust your feet so you feel nice and stable. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle, placing your right hand on your right thigh, reach your left arm up behind you. Explore bringing your left hand behind you, coming into a half bind. So you wanna keep your heart open, nice Annalise. Nice. We're gonna go back into that low lunge. So we're going into that skandasana to the back of the mat, that side lateral lunge. And then we're gonna shift to a side lateral lunge to the front of the mat. And then we're gonna center our weight coming into our forward fold. So both hands are on your mat. Nice, come down into a deep forward fold that feels nice for you. Letting your hips reach up nice and high. So before we come out of this forward fold, I'm gonna invite you to take your arms forward, almost like you're in a downward facing dog and see if you can get some traction through your back. Maybe a deep stretch through your lats. Reaching your hips up, feel that stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly walk towards your right foot coming into your low lunge. And step back into plank. Take your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. And exhale, your hands down by your side. Shift that weight back into your heels. Sit down into your chair pose. Nice, sit down nice and low. Think about drawing everything in, lengthening your back so you look like a lightning bolt. Bring your hands to heart center. Breathe in and on your exhale, twist to the left. See if you can bring the right elbow to the outer edge of the left knee. And as you do that, you wanna think about keeping your hips even or as even as possible. You don't really wanna like twist your hips. The idea is to twist your torso and keep your hips in one line. Nice. We're gonna release and step our right leg back coming into our high lunge. Might be a little wobbly. Take your time. Find your balance. Your feet should be on railroad tracks, not in one line. Left knee over your left ankle and then twist to the left. Reaching your arms away from each other. Maybe you wanna experiment with the left hand down to the right thigh, reaching the right arm up and back. To exit out of this, slowly rotate yourself into your warrior two, adjusting your feet as you go so that your 
feet are planted and you're feeling balanced and sturdy. Sit a little bit lower into that warrior too. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come through to side angle. Left arm on your fore, left forearm on your left thigh, reach your right arm up to the sky. Drop your right hip down a little bit more. Bring your right arm behind you if you want to explore the half bind, keeping your heart open. And from here, we're going to shift our weight into our right foot, coming into that skandhasana, that lunge towards the back of the mat. Think of it as like a side lunge. If you even want to just put your hands down in the middle of the mat and shift your hips to the right and then ship your, shift your hips to the left. Nice. And then come to a center forward fold. Coming nice and low. Feel the weight move towards the front of your feet so you get a deeper stretch through the backs of your legs. And then explore that down dog version by walking your hands out and away from you, finding traction and stretching through your spine, through your lats. Bring your ears in between your biceps. Try not to grip with your toes. And then slowly walk your hands to the left, coming into a low lunge at the front of your mat. Step back to plank, your version of your vinyasa. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. And then gaze at your hands and slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And let your palms come all the way down by your side. All right, we're going to add on to that one more time. Should be like feeling really familiar in your body now. All right. Your feet are together. Sit back into your chair pose. Breathe here. Sit a little bit lower. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lengthen your spine. And on your exhale, twist to the right. You can stay here with your elbow on the outer edge, hands together, or you can explore opening your arms, deepening this twist. And then untwist back to center. Slide your left leg back into your high lunge. Reach your arms up. Right knee is over your right ankle. Staying nice and low. Reach that left heel back. Open and twist to the right. As your arms reach apart, maybe your right arm reaches back to your left thigh, your left arm reaches up and over. This can get wobbly, so make sure you're engaging your inner thighs, finding your strength through your center. And then as you unwind, come into warrior two to the front of your mat. Take a moment here to check your footing, adjust if needed. There is no rule that says you can't. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here. Come all the way through to side angle, letting your forearm rest on your thigh. Reach your left arm up and over. Bring your left hand behind for that half bind. And maybe you're ready to bring your right hand down to the ground or even behind you for a full bind.
as you release the full bind, you're gonna do the side lunge. So however it works best for you, maybe your hands are out in front of you and you're gonna lunge right and left, left and right. And then you're gonna come to the center, bring your heels in, bring your hands to your waist and come into your goddess pose. Yes, sitting nice and low, pressing into the outer edges of your feet. Maybe you wanna bring your hands to heart center or open them into your cactus shape. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths, finding our power, finding our strength. And then stand up, reach your arms up to the sky, coming into starfish. And then we're gonna rotate coming all the way down into our low lunge. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And then we'll slowly walk our feet up to meet our hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up and over, palms touch. Exhale, your hands down by your side. One more side. Shift your weight into your heels. Reach your arms up as you sit back into your chair pose. Draw your hands to heart center, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Bringing your right elbow to the outer edge of your left thigh. You can stay here with your hands together or explore opening them up, finding your wingspan. And then come back to center, slide or step your right foot back, finding your high lunge. Once you have your footing and your balance, reach your arms up to the sky. Breathe here. Twist to the left, reaching your arms away from the center of your body. And then explore a peaceful twist, bringing the left arm to the right thigh and the right arm up and over. As you exit, come into your warrior two towards the front of your mat. Take the time to adjust your footing. Sit a little bit lower. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. So place your left forearm on your left thigh, reach your right arm up. And bring your right hand behind your back. Maybe you bring your left hand down to the floor or explore the full bind, catching your fingers. Just make sure you're still twisting, opening your heart up. As we release that bind, we bring our hands to the floor or straight into our skandasana. And you're gonna shift your weight side to side. Finding that deep stretch through your inner thighs. And then come to center, turn your heels in, bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, coming into your goddess pose. Bring your hands to heart center or open them into cactus. Maybe you want to sway a little bit in your goddess. Maybe you prefer the stillness. You're pressing into the outer edges of your feet, into your heel and your big toe. Sit a little bit lower. And then straighten your legs and your arms up to the ceiling. We're going to cartwheel ourselves all the way down into a low lunge at the front of our mat. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. 
and we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Gaze forward at your hands, walk your feet towards your hands, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way out and up. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your torso. Feel your heartbeat, feel your breath. Take a moment to regulate them. And then when you're ready, come to a firm footing. So maybe your feet are a little bit hip distance apart. Your hands come down to your side. We're gonna move into some tree. So shift your weight into your left side and peel your right heel up. All right, turn your knee out, keeping your toes on the ground. With your hands on your hips, we're gonna to start to slide our right foot up our leg as far as you can. And then when you need a little bit more help, reach down and bring it up a little bit higher. So your right foot can be anywhere on your left, left leg except for your knee. Think about pressing down through your left leg, pressing into your left big toe, your left pinky toe in the center of your left heel. Think about drawing your tailbone down, lifting up through your navel. Find that long, tall spine we talked about at the beginning of class. Your hands can now come to your heart center. Find something out in front of you that is not moving that you can focus on. Maybe you can float your arms up above you like tree branches. Experiment with closing one eye and then the other. Notice if you balance better with one eye open or the other eye. If you really want to try something different and new, try closing both eyes. Bring your hands back to heart center. Bring your knee towards the front. And then extend your right foot out in front of you. Balance here on one leg, and then slowly float that right foot down. Let your hands come down by your side. Go ahead and bend each leg. Shake it out. Give your torso a little twist. Yeah, dance it out. That's what I like. And then bring your weight back into each foot evenly. And we're going to lift our left heel up off the mat, open our knee out to the left, and then start to slide your left foot up your right leg, getting it up as far as you can. And then when you need to reach down, giving it a little bit of assistance, press that left foot into the right leg. If you can get your hips to be even, lengthen that tailbone down. Draw up through the center. Think about that long spine like when we were sitting at the beginning of class as we've been standing with two feet on the ground. You still want that same balance, that same evenness between your right side and your left side, even though we only have one foot on the earth. Bring your hands to heart center and find something out in front of you that you can focus on. And when you're ready, explore reaching your arms up into the sky. Press into your big toe and your pinky toe. Press your right thigh against your left foot. And now play around with one eye closed and then the other. And then if you wanna play around with both eyes closed, that's totally up to you. And now turn the left knee to the front, extend your left leg out in front of you and lower your left foot down. We're gonna dance it out because that's fun. It's actually one of my favorite yoga poses. Now I can't remember what it's called. 
but it's a pendulum swinging of your arms hip to hip. Totally blanking on the yoga name for it. I just call it nice. All right, and then slow that down. Come to stand at the front of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. You can step back to plank and go through a vinyasa, or you can step straight back to downward facing dog. Depends what you feel like you still need in class. If you need a little fire, take your vinyasa. If you're ready to start winding down even more, just go and meet me in down dog. So we're gonna float our right leg up behind us, bend our right knee and draw your right knee behind your right wrist coming into your pigeon pose. Extend your left leg back behind you, straightening those toes. Slowly let your chest melt down onto your mat. If you need blocks, pillows, cushions, anything you need to support yourself in this pose. Maybe you like something under your right hip. Maybe you like to pile something up for your forehead to rest on. We're going to stay here for a couple minutes, letting our hips relax. Maybe you can extend the left leg back a little bit further behind you. Take a big inhale and as you exhale, let something go. Maybe you make a big exhale noise. Two more deep breaths. One more deep breath. Press yourself up, lifting your chest and your torso away from the mat. And we're gonna roll onto our right hip, coming into a seated stretch. So our left leg is extended away from us. Our right leg is coming in towards our right thigh. Sit up nice and tall, and then turn towards your left toes and start to walk your hands out towards your left ankle, keeping your spine nice and straight, seeing if you can keep both sit bones on the mat. And on your next exhale, feel free to round your back, letting your head hang heavy, letting your elbows get heavy. Walk your hands in as you come back up to a straight spine. We're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna bring it behind us. We're gonna come into a little bit of a twist with our left hand on our right knee. You can stay in this twist or you can explore pressing down with your right hand as you lift your hips up and off the ground, coming into a stargazer. Lower yourself back down, make your way into your tabletop position. And once you are in your tabletop, curl your toes under, come back into your downward facing dog. 
Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee behind your left wrist coming into pigeon on this side. So slide your right leg back behind you. Check that your foot is straight, that you're not in a banana shape. And then start to slowly come all the way down. Take the time to set up the props on this side that you need on this side. If you need a block or a pillow under your left hip, you want something to rest on. Maybe you can extend your right leg back a little bit longer. And start to slowly walk your torso up, your hands closer to your leg, and you're going to roll onto your left hip, coming into a straddle with your right leg extended, your left foot attached to your right thigh. Sit up nice and tall, and then turn towards your right toes. Walk your hands out towards your right ankle, your right foot. Keep your spine nice and long. Breathe here. And go ahead and exhale. Let your chin come to your chest, top of your head down towards your knee. Start to roll back up to a straight spine. Bring your left hand behind your back. Bring your right hand to your left thigh. Stay here in this twist. Press into your left hand, lift your hips up off the ground, reach your arm up and back. And then slowly lower your hips down. We're going to bring both feet onto the ground. So instead of a tabletop, we'll come into our seated position with both soles of the feet on the ground, knees up to the air. Breathe in, sit nice and tall. Reach your arms out away from you and start your slow roll down to the mat. Ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let your hands come down to either side, soles of the feet on the floor, knees pointing up to the air. Keeping your head and back on the mat, draw your right knee in, interlace your hands around your right shin, extend your left leg away from you, let it float off the ground. And then switch sides, bring your left knee in, float your right leg straight off the ground, but your head, neck and shoulders are staying on the mat and switch sides. 
See if you can keep your lower back on the ground, switch sides. These are very gentle bicycles, switch sides and switch and switch and switch. Draw both knees in at the same time. Hug your shins to your chest. Breathe here. If it feels good for you, bring your nose towards your knee, coming into a tiny little ball. You can rock side to side here. And then let your head come back down, widen your legs, bringing your knees into your armpits. From here, you can flex your feet, reach for your ankles, coming into a happy baby if that's a pose that feels good in your body. And then bring your knees back into your armpits, back into your chest. Extend the left leg away from you, holding the right knee in, and then let the right knee gently fall over to the left, extending your arms out. Look over your right shoulder, coming into a recline twist. And then come back onto your back, hug both knees in. Hold on to the left shin, extend your right leg away from you. And then gently guide the left leg over towards the right. Coming into a recline twist on this side. And then roll onto your back, hugging both knees in again. If there's anything that you need to take any stretch, any twist, any bit of motion or movement, fulfill that need right now. And then we'll all meet in our Shavasana as we extend one leg and then the other away from our body, extending one arm and then the other. Let your spine get long. Maybe you lift your head and extend it a little bit more. Breathe in, exhale everything out. Take another deep breath in, filling your body up with air from your toes all the way up through your torso to the crown of your head. And then slowly let it all back out. Bring your energy, attention, and focus to your feet. Tighten your toes, curl them in, squeeze your feet, tighten them up, and then exhale, let them go. Shake them out, let them relax. Bring your energy and tension to your legs, to the muscles that line your leg bones, your calves, your thighs. Squeeze everything in around your legs and then exhale. Shake them out, let them go, let them relax. Bring your energy and attention to your glutes and your belly. Squeeze your butt in. Drawing your belly button, squeeze your torso, and then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your fingers. Put your thumb in the center of your palm. Wrap your fingers around it. Squeeze your thumb. Squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it out. 
Let it relax. Extend your arms, squeeze your forearms, your triceps, your biceps, straighten them, squeeze, tense up every muscle in your arm and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your torso, to your chest, to your rib cage. Squeeze everything and tighten it up. Compress, 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 and then exhale. Let it go. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your shoulders and your neck. Squeeze your shoulders in. Tighten your neck. Squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your head and your face. Close your eyes, scrunch them up, tighten your mouth, squeeze the top of your head in, squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. From the top of your head all the way down to your toes, tense every muscle in your body up, Squeeze it all into your center line. Draw all your energy in and then exhale. Let it go. Let it relax. Move into your stillness. You're more than welcome to remain in your Shavasana, but if you're ready to come out, go ahead and slowly, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms overhead. And make your way onto your side. Pausing and taking a few breaths on your side. And then make your way into your seated position. Once you're sitting nice and tall, find that long length in your spine. Reach your arms up overhead. Let your palms touch. Exhale, draw everything down in front of your body towards your heart. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your torso. Feel that life move around inside you. Thank yourself for showing up for your practice tonight and taking this time to do something for just you. I thank you all for letting me lead you through this practice. Namaste. Thank you all.